Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your next love reading for all Virgos. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please do hit the subscribe button and push the like button if you enjoy this video. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. It's good to see everyone. Hello there to all of you in the chat. All right, Virgo. Personal reading link is in the description box below this video. Let's see what your love messages are here, Virgo. Remember, this is a general reading. General love reading. Okay, Virgo. Let's take a look here. All right. Yesterday you had the Knight of Cups in this position. Now you have the Knight of Pentacles. Same position. Page of Wands. Seven of Wands. The death card and the emperor emperor is back i feel like the emperor is coming back around some of you have an aries is going to be showing up during this mercury Mer mercury <laughs> mercury retrograde and we have the seven of swords let's see the world card is here six of cups okay we're still going on with that reconciliation thing and at the bottom of the deck, Cancer Energy, there's a chariot here. So there's action and change happening here. Somebody's coming towards you. Um, somebody's making big changes in this connection, okay? Or traveling. Could be somebody new for some of you. Um, you might have a long distance lover or someone who's coming home or you're traveling, going to see another person, all right? So we have Aquarian Energy here. Some of you are going to see uh, you're going to a concert maybe um <laughs> you're gonna go see a movie um you're gonna go st it could be like a movie date or a concert someone famous for some of you some of you might be connecting to somebody famous or maybe you're famous um somebody might be on the road or touring or maybe you are okay um and trust me i do get i do get personal readings with some famous people so i know you're out there i know you're listening to my channel um, tarot readings are for everyone okay again the six of swords is a travel card so again there's travel here there's movement somebody facing their fears okay somebody overcoming some obstacles mental blocks uh, dropping their sword taking a situation that is rather chaotic or strenuous and moving into calmer waters okay um Definitely a healing. There's renewal and hope here. Somebody could be connecting with. This could be a work situation um, for some of you. Uh, as soon as somebody's finished work or they're working on, um, maybe they're a recording artist, somebody here, could be you. Uh, I'm just picking up the energy of recording artist, audio, video, film, um, podcast, maybe YouTube. Um, somebody who's in the public eye, okay? Could be meeting somebody who's in the public eye or connecting with someone in that energy. It's weird. <laughs> so we have the King of Wands. So I'm definitely picking up Aries energy for some. Well, for a lot of you, for most of you, because we have the Queen of Wands, we have the Emperor and the King of Wands, okay? So this could be your person. A lot of conflict with this person, competition and challenges. All right, maybe you're not going to, maybe you're going to a fight. Maybe this person's, um, you know, like a fighter. Okay. Let's get the love messages. Let's see what's going on here. Yesterday's reading was uh, very lovely. It was a, a very emotional reading yesterday. I'm not, I'm not really feeling that today. Let's take a look here. Pay attention to the red flags. <laughs> I don't know if this is connected to yesterday's reading. Yesterday's reading was, might have just been an isolated incident um, for somebody one needed or wanted needed to hear that. Unrequited love. Okay. And love yourself first. Okay. Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Some of you are just like, you dropped the ball, obviously. I think we're back to the old energies playing out here. Somebody dropped the ball. Somebody's you're just oh wait a minute they just gave me something here 
No, 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 no. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, they're giving me a whole bunch of messages and I'm, I'm telling them to shut up right now in my head. Um, oh gosh, now we've got the star again underneath the deck. I just was splitting it and the higher font. Religious healing, spiritual healing. Are some of you going to school or taking classes, tarot classes or learning astrology or spiritual mediumship, channeling, what have you? So I just heard that message. The spirit said, if you're not doing that, or you've been thinking about doing that, uh, keep that going. Okay, so what's going on here? We have fire and Scorpio. Okay, so Mars energy. There's Mars energy is leading this reading. Okay, Mars rules Aries and Scorpio as well. We also have Leo and Sagittarius. So listen to me. Listen, Virgo. Push pull, they just they just said. They just said to me, push pull. There's somebody here, whoever they are, it's not you, comes in with a solid offer. Yep, there's your notification. Somebody comes in with a solid offer, very excited about this, and then stops it from happening. Comes in with a proposal for marriage. Comes in with offers, puts down payment on something, invests. They thought about it, they think about it, uh, thought about it for a really long time, or just this energy of this person just, yes, I'm here, I'm ready, let's do it, I'm excited, let's do it, and then boom, stops, blocks it. Red flags, big time. This person seeking red flags looking for red flags looking for signs it's it feels like a sabotage energy all right let me see knight of pentacles very excited about this what they want to do here this offer they're very, very feeling we're feeling very positive about this or are feeling very positive about this very excited making plans uh connecting with you okay three of swords i feel like wasn't in the same position yesterday um Why are they making these plans? Because they're heartbroken, right? But then the seven of wands, and then they're like, nope, never mind, forget it. Defense. Playing defense. Can't. Can't come, can't do it, can't connect. Can't follow through with this offer that I'm giving you. Ugh, star again. Okay, you're connecting with someone. I can't, I'm not ready. I have to heal. I've got some healing to do. Or this is somebody, Aquarian energy. Or this is somebody who is in the public eye. I just feel that, you know, they're paranoid. I just, they just gave me that Black Sabbath song, Paranoid. I heard that, Paranoid. This person gets paranoid. As soon as things start moving forward, they're ready, they're excited, they're, they're amped up. They're ready to come towards you, they're ready to do something here with you. Then they stop it. They can't renew it. They can't renew the connection. They, it's just frustrating for you. I feel you have a frustration going on here. See, my the bells keep going off here. So there's clarification coming in. Oh, two of pentacles. The king of pentacles. Very excited about you. Maybe you're connecting with an earth sign. Very excited about you. Seems stable. Seems like they're coming from a place of abundance that they can make, that they're making this offer to you and they're excited. But why do they stop? Well, now they got to weigh their options again. Wait, I got to I got to think about it. Again. I need to I need some time. I got to think about this now. Stop, start, stop, start, stop. False starts, stop, start. A lot of that because they get cold feet. They get scared. Well, what if this happens? What if that happens? Red flags. Uh oh, Virgo said something. I don't like that. I guess put a halt on it. Virgo wants me too much, I gotta put a halt on it. Virgo doesn't want me enough, I gotta put a halt on it. Excuses, excuses, finding reasons to. This person, 
is only paying attention to red flags. This person is just keeps seeking them out. Too afraid. They get right to the edge of the cliff. They get up in that plane with their backpack, ready to jump. And as soon as they get to the edge, cold feet, and they back out. Keep backing out. Backing out energy here. Okay. Why? Because they think they're seeing red flags or they're making up red flags or they're just using excuses to back out. Like this fear. Why? Fear-based. They're fear-based. And yet, I'm hearing getting up the courage. Trying to get up the courage to do this. This doesn't have anything to do with you. Just paranoia and fear. Fear of what? Death. Fear of, fear of something not working out. Fear of something ending. Okay. Fear of it. Unrequited love. Fear of it not going anywhere. Fear of there not being enough chemistry. Um, <laughs> this might be somebody new that you're currently talking to and maybe dating or planning. This person might have a fear of COVID. Are they using that as an excuse or a reason not to come forward? Um, but it feels to me like, well, I want to, but I don't know if there's enough chemistry or attraction between us. I, I'm not sure. I, I kind of think so, but then I'm not sure. There's a question. It's questionable behavior. They're questioning you. Are you still with somebody else? What's the past position with your ex? Are you, did you let the ex go? Like, I feel this extreme enthusiasm to come towards you. Even though they know they could get their heartbreak, but then they put the stop, they put the, they put the brakes on it. They put the brakes on it. All right, show me this death card here because it's like transformation and new beginnings. King of Wands again. Okay. Hmm. Power up, they just said. The powering up. This person is weak minded or weak willed, lacking in courage and strength, lacking in confidence, is how I feel. Trying to get their confidence back, making changes, transforming, going from the King of Wands to the Emperor. This person lacks confidence. Is it something to do with you? I don't feel like it. I feel like this person just, I'm just, I keep seeing someone standing at the edge of the cliff. You know, they like, like before they get there, an hour before they get there, they got their bags packed. They're, they're, they're in the zone. They're ready to do it. They're go, 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 go. And they're just so excited. But as soon as they get to that cliff edge, is second thoughts. This could be an altar situation for some of you. Plans to get married. Ready, ready, ready. Ready to go, ready to go. Let's do it. And then they backed out or they, they back out. And they're trying to regain the courage to come towards you. A lot of conflict with this person. But I feel like they will. Because like I said here in the beginning, the Six of Swords, overcoming their fears, defeating their fears crazy so why is the emperor here in the center well i mean the emperor is here in the center because the center of the reading basically is all about this person bossing up gaining the courage to come towards you to or to come out of themselves that's how i sh spirit corrected me not not to come towards virgo but to come out of them who they are, come out of themselves come out of their fear-based self okay and so this person comes in, makes plans with you again. <laughs> then they, they start they start the process all over again. Page of Pentacles, communicating with you. Okay, okay, let's do it this time. Now I can do it. Um, to you, they're giving you ex excuses or reasons why they can't do something. But that's not really the truth. Okay, they're just putting obstacles in the way. Now they're coming in. Now they're communicating with you. Not so... Not as enthusiastic as they were before, but more sensibly. Okay, I, th I think that I can do this. Maybe more of like giving you financial reasons now. Before it was just passionate. Now it's more grounded. Financial reasons. Financial, you know, 
uh, I've got the money now or um, I'm going to get a ticket for somewhere. Okay, let me see. Make more of a sensible approach. They've, they've gotten rid of their fear and now they're in a more sensible approach. Okay, the Seven of Swords, yeah. So that deceit and deception, they're at peak. See, I feel like this person was deceiving or lying or giving excuses, telling you why they can do some, something, connect with you, go on that second date, go on that first date, um, reconnect with you or see you again. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, they kept running away because they were scared. gave you excuses they didn't want you to find out what the truth was and is that they're fear be fear based which is really kind of hard for someone who sits in an emperor or king position or someone who's in a queen position to admit those fears because there might be a little bit of ego playing out here um but the four of swords tells me no longer need to run now they're going to stay put um they're at peace even so they're at peace now with finding out if this relationship can keep going, whether it can or not. Before, I feel like, my gosh, my phone keeps going off. Before, I felt like, I feel like they didn't want to know. They didn't want to find that out. It's all about acceptance. This person, I feel like, has a hard time accepting situations they have to be in control. Uh, this Four of Swords makes you feel like a lack of control. No longer controlling the situation. Accepting everything as it comes down the line, you know? Wherever, whatever tomorrow brings, they're going to be there. Yep. They don't have all the answers here. They don't know what to expect. The moon, secrets, hidden things. They don't know how they're going to feel. They don't know what's going to happen. But it just feels to me like them getting up the courage <laughs> to, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm trying not to judge because I don't think life is so linear, you know. I feel like this can just be a normal process of things. What? So I, I want to ask you, Spirit, what caused... What is this conflict, this person? What kept this person from... I mean, obviously... I don't... So, okay. What kept this person from... Retreat... Why did they keep retreating? Why did they all have all these false starts? Stops and starts. Control. Yeah, because they have to be in control of the relationship and of themselves. I feel like a little bit of this, is, yesterday's reading is bleeding out into this and they're just telling me the person from yesterday's reading perhaps could be on a path of progress and enlightenment here. They had to be in control. They didn't want you to have all the power. So lovers, yep. Love scares this person. It's not you, Virgo. It's not you. It's unconditional love. It's acceptance, compassion. This person, they have such a strong need to be seen as the emperor or the empress, to be seen as someone who is so high value to be to have you see them that way they weren't prepared to have you see them as less than how they felt about themselves you may not have felt you virgo i feel like just love this person which doesn't have any discrimination in any way shape or form and discrimination in economic race uh, ethnic cultural um anything 
um, where they are in life. I mean, Virgo, if you fall in love with, um, you know, a waitress or the garbage person down the street, then that's your love, period. And you don't judge. And if it's a celebrity, well, that's your person, then you don't, you don't put somebody in a box. You just love them for who they are, right? That's just how you are. And this person has trouble loving themselves. They don't see themselves the way you see themselves. So they have to keep taking a step back, telling themselves, okay, not ready. No, I have to be in better shape or I have to lose more weight or I have to have more money or I have to have better cars or I have to be more stable or have more organization and I have to have this, 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 this in order to be accepted. And Virgo's like, I mean, I'm a, if you just like, as long as you have a job, I mean, what the heck, you know? <laughs> you know, I mean, just... I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to be your mother or your father, but I mean, those are external things. I mean, I love you for who you are, right, Virgo? And that's how you are. That's how you just generally are. I mean, yeah, you're, you can be picky sometimes, you know, like, you, but you won't put up with any slacking. I don't feel like this person was even a slacker, so to speak. I just feel like they don't, they just kept backing out or saying no because, man, the right clothes, the right pair of shoes, they couldn't get their hair right, or they didn't they didn't have enough weight on them or they didn't have enough weight off of them or their physique it was very ex a lot of external things maybe they thought you might think they were strange or weird or um different they compared themselves to you compare themselves to you competition in a lot of ways All right, let me see. The world is here. Okay, this person's they're gonna they're do, they're gonna do it this time. <laughs> if if there's been plans being made, you've never met this person, Virgo. There's been plans being made over and over and over, and no follow through. They're gonna follow through now. Only because they feel comfortable <laughs> within themselves. There's nothing. Virgo, you, you could you could have been telling this person, I don't care about that, I don't care about that, I don't care about that. It, they needed to not care about it. So they needed to get themselves in a particular place in order to feel comfortable with themselves to come with you, to connect with you, to be with you. And they get there. And that's all on them, okay? And Virgo, I just kind of feel like you're like, okay, well, you know. But what happens about the next time? Like... Virgo, you're, you're kind of looking at them like, you know, you've got to get confidence within your soul from the inside out, not the outside in. And gaining our validation from external sources is never fulfilling. The confidence and acceptance of self within. I am lovable. I am wonderful. I am worthy. Believing that about yourself makes Lamborghinis, Ferraris, fancy clothes, money, all that irrelevant because you love yourself, right? And I feel like you tell your, you tell this person and you could have told this person how wonderful they were, how great they were. This, they did not believe this about themselves. So they just throw up red flags. Um, or if they saw one, then they would just kind of dip out. And just something here tells me they go through some kind of healing change here with the star. You just weren't ready. Okay, the world. Six of Cups and the Six of Cups. Reconciliation. Blast from the past. Reconnecting. Okay? Some of you, this is a long distance thing, or this is just two people finally coming together. Um, there's also some apologies here for taking too long for some. I don't feel like this is a deep, heavy relationship for you guys. I don't feel like this reading particular, this might just be someone for a lot of you. It's, it really is someone that you haven't met yet that you met online or something. And for others, um, you did know this person in your childhood or when you were younger and then a lot of time went by now you're reconnecting and this person's changed 
and they look different and they want to make sure they look right for you. <laughs> they want to look the way they looked when you first met. And it's kind of, um, they're very self-effacing and it's kind of vain. There's some vanity attached to that, attached to them. Maybe they're having a hard time accepting that they're getting older in life. Or, you know, maybe they have no hair left and then it's all dropped down onto their chin in a form of a beard. Maybe they have like tons of stretch marks or they've gained weight or, you know, they have jowls. They don't, they have some gray hair for some. You know, there's a little bit of a struggle here with vanity. Okay, making a decision here at Six of Cups to reconnect, yeah. I feel like this person intuitively knows. Look, love yourself first. That's what I was just saying here. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I feel like this person is coming through that phase where that's really what I feel like it is. Loving them, learning to love themselves, feeling like they're lovable and worthy. Um, this person kind of bases how other few people feel about them on, and that's they base their self-worth on that like so if someone is constantly reaching out and loving them and hugging them and then they make then they feel like oh I must be great and if then if that same person is not doing that anymore then they say oh I must not be great so they have a lack of, of self uh, security security within self they they lack that okay and I feel like Something is happening here where they're learning. Maybe it's um, not being together has woken them up. And, you know, and what happens, you know, when there's a split or a breakup or people separate, then we all get into self-love. And if you've been separated from this person, not only you have been, you know, loving yourself, this person's been loving themselves as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Without, hold on. Sorry, without any external validation, which is great. That's great. Just just validation from God. Validation from God is all you need. Okay, seven of swords again here. Okay, so I feel like this was similar to yesterday, taking those five swords and carrying them away. Removing the five swords from this relationship, control, okay? And um, communication meant to dictate how the, the relationship, the love relationship ought to be, okay? And leaving two swords behind here, right here, which is intuitively knowing that it's okay to connect to come back to one another to make the plans to move forward for some of you reconciliation definitely i love it i really like this reading i like the way it, it turned out you know what i mean i feel like it's going to be a little shorter than normal which is fine let's take a look here I feel like I want to get your love messages first. And then I'm going to look at your person's love messages to you. The hidden truth. Okay, obsession. Someone is connect someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Yeah, this person definitely obsessed with red flags, um, thoughts, obsessive thoughts. Am I good enough? Am I good enough? Am I good enough? Can I do this? Will she like me? Will he like me? Will I be Will I be accepted? Um, will I be loved? You know, obs obsessive negative thinking is what I think. I mean, it, it feels negative thinking. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. I mean, gripping something can be s stressful. Holding it, holding on to it long enough can hurt your hands, right? So gripped. I don't think it's ever painful to be gripped with positive thinking. So this feels like gripped with negative thoughts. I kind of wish that maybe 
she clarified that in this card but that's uh, maybe i'll write it in there because that's how i feel that's what that is thoughts thoughts of how things might turn out how things might not turn out worry 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 ocd worry time apart distance will help bring clarity okay Some of you are getting distance with tarot card readers or readings. You're, you're getting clarity, you're seeking, you're distancing yourself from your own obsessive thinking about this connection and, and getting clarity um, by refocusing your energy on seeking answers or speaking to spirit or getting readings or messages and stuff like that. So um, that's how I kind of feel about that rather than thinking about how things may not work out between you and them or um, being obsessively worried about the connection um, you're distancing yourself from from those worries distracting yourself new love a new love or recommitment to love is developing yeah so i feel that here with the six of cups some of you are reconnecting to a past someone from when you were very young okay and there's a and there's a new love spark happening here and for others this is a reconnection a recommitment to a past lover in the sense of like someone that you've just recently been out of a relationship with intuition you already know the answer you seek and support learn lean on your inner circle during this time and i feel like some of you are doing that maybe you're getting some counseling or some life coaching or just you know really getting in touch with your intuition at this time practicing intuitive practices um distracting yourself with things like that oops all right they want you to have these i'm so attracted to you from this person you came closer than anyone yeah and they threw up those red flags flag on the play flag on the play you know how like in some football games sometimes those referees just throw the flags just to throw them <laughs> penalties sometimes people think that sometimes it it's not it's unnecessary but it happens and i feel like this like i feel like they as soon as you got close they threw up a red flag the deep insecurity with this person if you see their inner their innards their guts you might not really like them they try to put on a front they try to be something that you would be have a hard time resisting but virgo they don't understand whoever you're dealing with doesn't understand how virgo works because virgo attaches through the soul virgo sees right through things because virgo is the virgin the sign of purity and clarity okay virgo strips away all the unnecessary details and gets to the core of things and they know that this person knows that you see right through them they know that you know their core of who they are and it scares them to death <laughs> to, to death do us part and then they try to separate you each you know or they just back down yet it's a conundrum because they're so attracted to that about you it's a challenge i feel like there's a challenge you you present a challenge to this person virgo i know i messed up everything i wish i could take my words back okay i'll wait for a sign from you i'm afraid to contact you again with this fear but i can't stop thinking of you you don't know how hard it was to let you go. I wish I could share my good news with you. And you speak to me through music. That shows up a lot. I lost myself for a little while. You know what, you guys? I wish I had treated you better. Listen. See this deck? I'm going to retire this deck for a little while. I am, I'm going to retire this deck for a little while. I have to. I have to. I feel like I've. It's 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 not speaking to me anymore. Maybe it's speaking to you, but I'm the reader. It's my channel. It's not speaking to me. And I'm gonna give. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put that away for a little while. 
I just want you to know my readings going forward because that's what happens you know we, we shift out our cards and stuff because some just need a break some just need to sit by the windowsill and catch the moonbeams and catch a break for a little while and get re-energized and I'm here every single day so I'm gonna re-energize this deck or figure something out else out to do with it all right let me take a look here and see what your this video is gonna be a little bit shorter Let's see what your other messages are here, Virgo. Okay. Oh, the sun again. A time of great joy and success. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities. Plans that work out perfectly. Gratitude to the vine. So I feel like... Um, the false starts, false starts, penalty on the play, red flags, um, all that. And I know I, I speak in football terms because, I don't know, I feel like life can be related to a football game. <laughs> um, especially like you're on the offense and this person's on the defense. Virgo is not afraid to tackle problems or conflicts. Virgo is not fearful. Um, Virgo just comes at things in a very pragmatic way, in a practical way, and it's like, okay, it's no big deal. Look, let's just sort it out. Look, here's a big mess. We'll just organize it, sort it out, over, figure out where the issues are, overcome the problem, and move on. Virgo's just, what's the problem? Okay? And your person is more defense, like, ugh. You know, you can't get in, you can't get in. No, I'm, i got to block you. No, no, no. So the sun here makes me feel like um, things are going to actually work out. There's an opening up, okay, with this connection. This person, there's joy, happiness, success here. <laughs> Does your person, will they still see red flags now and then? Yeah, that's just kind of how they are. They have... They just, some people are just like that. Some people are optimistic, some people are pessimistic, and some people are opportunists. But this looks like opportunist, opportunity. Okay, the sun and the moon. What? I love that. They're a pair, they're partners, they work in tandem, they work together. They balance each other out. Virgo, you have the sun. You are the sun energy. Even though you're yin, you have a yang energy about you. Maybe externally. Maybe it's your Chinese sign. Maybe you're a dragon. Or you just have that yang stuff going on. The moon, listen to your intuition. Listen to your heart when they're calling for you. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the divine. This is your person. And pay attention. Pay, like, always paying attention. I, are you going, are you connecting with another Virgo? Or someone with heavy Virgo placements or fear-based placements? Like Scorpio? This is Pisces. Pisces and Leo. Okay unnecessary worry let go of your fears revelations that will make everything okay and clear uh, this is you two are like night and day that's what the, this is what the thing is you and your person are like night and day virgo but you balance each other out believe it or not they come in dark you come in light very much a yin yang energy you balance each other out this is the only it can't be all yang i mean imagine if we just had the sun all day long 24 hours a day and we never had any night how hot it would be all day we'd dry we'd dry up and if we didn't have the moon we'd have no what would happen to our oceans they would be stagnant stagnant water right the moon brings the waves so you guys kind of balance each other out you know their their watery energy with the moon here moistens the hot the dry and the dry dries up too much water so there's a nice balance here recognize each other's differences um, with more compassion recognize your person has a very has a deep emotional thing 
within them. I don't care. I don't know what sign. I don't know what their placements are. I don't, you know, I don't know exactly. I can tell you there's fire, there's earth. I'm picking up water. Um, teeny, teeny, tiny bit of air. Okay. Um, recognize the differences between the two of you and come into balance. Uh, focus on the strengths between the two of you and strengthen your weaknesses, okay? But accept that sometimes you will each have your weak moments. And one becomes more strong. One becomes the stronger one for the one who's weaker. And one becomes the softer one for the one who's too hard right the water and water and uh okay let's see i just it gave me this weird message virgo that sun in you i feel like the virgo sun that sun in you um heats up this person's emotions that's why i feel like they're here or why they keep staying it's overwhelming that's why they throw up these red flags, okay? You're like hot fire. This person is wet and moist. <coughs> I'm leaving it there. We'll take it. I'm leaving it there. All right, um, let's get your charms. Remember, you guys, to hit like, share, and subscribe on the video. All right, they just gave me some tennis rackets, okay? So maybe you guys are going to play tennis or you're a tennis player watching a tennis match. I mean, I can't imagine you'd be on a tennis court right now listening to this video. Maybe you will on your way home or after. Um, maybe you played tennis earlier today. Could be a tennis date. Paris. Living la vida loca. I, I know that's not a Parisian statement, but I just heard that on the wild side okay somebody might be from france or there's a trip to paris planned or coming up somebody might just be simply dipping their french fries in their milkshake and enjoying that listening to the reading <laughs> in their car so they said in their car Who, which one of you is doing that <laughs> mm, french cuisine yeah, I just heard that. Somebody's name is Paris. Wow, beautiful. What a nice name to have. Or it's from the city or a town called Paris. Oh, wow, you have a glass of wine here. Mm. Somebody's going on a fancy romantic vacation. Are you drinking some wine? Maybe you're having some fruit juice in a wine glass because you are you don't have any glasses right now. Okay. Oh, how cute. A little key with a white heart on the end of it. Somebody has a key that has a white heart on the key ring. That's all they want to give me about the, what the heck? What is this? Oh, we're back with the, the gold rose again. And, okay, golden rose. This carnation, they just said, it's not a rose, silly, it's a carnation. It's a carnation. How does that relate to you? Leave me a comment. I'm just seeing carnation, all right, this thing all right so we have a christmas tree maybe you're going to france or paris for christmas or you're going to be there's spending some time with somebody uh, around the holidays around um the end of december does not you don't have to be as you don't have to celebrate christmas but just around the end of december We have a couple more, again, with the key, skeleton key, okay? Are you looking for that, or do you need a skeleton key for something? This skeleton key kind of has, like, a crown on it of some sort. Wait, is 
that a crown? Oh no, this is antique. This is an antique skeleton key. Do you live in like a very old home? Or somebody lives in a very old home that has those doors that with the keyholes in it, brass doors with keyholes. They just, they just showed me like a wood door. Um, oh, an attic. There's a wooden door to an attic. There's something up there for you. Something that you've been looking for. They're telling me if you were looking for something, they're showing me there's a box with the, but the flaps are open. Go in that box. It's in there. There's a book. I see a book in there. There's a, there's a few and there's an old um, cassette tape recorder sitting in that box. Old cassette tape recorder and little plastic cassette tapes, but they're empty. But under the book, lift the book. There's something under the book there. Maybe it's one of the tapes. There's something on, there's a message or something on one of those old, I don't know if you're a cassette tape player, you gotta get batteries. I think you might have to plug it in. There's something in there. You gotta listen to something or you will be, or maybe you just did. I, I don't know. I just see opening up the key to an old attic door in an old home or like a skeleton key. Maybe you couldn't get up there. You need to get a skeleton key to get up there. All right, enough of my remote viewing. I just imagine, I just was seeing that. Oh, okay, and so we have the King of Hearts here, a little card heart or deck of cards. You're playing poker or someone's got like a, um, this is Ace of Hearts, I'm sorry. The Ace of Hearts, wow, there's a blessing. Are you drawing? I saw. I just saw someone drawing and painting, like, you know, a regular deck of cards with the, with the ace, the A, and then the heart, red and white, red and white, or playing with them, or looking at them, or shuffling them, or somebody plays poker, or plays a card game, or they're playing, are you playing one now? Okay, then we've got the yin yang here. This feels, they're just giving me, I'm getting, I'm picking up very strong. They're giving me Leo. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, very strong Leo energy here. Oh, and um, I'm seeing someone ice skating um, in the winter, whenever your winter is. Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, ice skating. It's not roller skating, it's ice skating. Maybe somebody is an ice skater or, yeah, ice skating. You are beautiful in every single way. Words can't bring you down. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, they just told me, um, all right, I don't even know if they still make this. Or maybe he used to wear this. Somebody, maybe the ladies wore, um, is it Victoria's Secret Beautiful? Or something called Beautiful. I guess I have a scent and it smells like that. Do you wear that still? Or are you used to wear that? If you did, this is definitely a reading for you. That's what I'm picking up here. Um, okay, I'm going to leave this message. I hope that you enjoyed this. Again, if you would like to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe on my channel. That would help increase its views, get me up in the algorithm even more so we can get more readings out to you. And um, please stay tuned. You will be able to join in on my VIP membership here on my channel. I will, I'm announcing that in every video. You'll know that it's ready. I'll put a post in my community channel. Make sure you subscribe though, so that you get all of the updates of everything new that I have in the works that I'm offering to you. Um, I did have somebody, I'm sorry if you're listening, I forget the name, <laughs> but I, I will reconnect. I saw the email. I did have someone who actually found a four leaf clover and she took a picture of herself with it. And 
is has sent it to me so i wasn't really running a contest i just kind of threw that out there and i said that if someone is able to find a four-leaf clover like a real one to let me know and i would offer that person a free one hour reading so i will make announcement to her she's not listening that um as soon as i communicate a little bit more with her that she's going to be getting that so maybe i'll start doing that i may I may do that like once a month, like choose one charm and whoever's able to show me it in real life. Like, I mean, listen here, I've got a snake here. I, I don't expect you to, if you've got a real snake, fine. But, <laughs> you know, I don't expect you to go out looking, you wind up getting bit or something. So maybe that's something I'll start doing once a month to offer a free reading based on a charm that I choose um, in the works for now. Anyway, um, yeah, so... Make sure you guys join me every Friday. If you want to get a mini reading from me instead of paying my full price readings, you can just pop in the chat for 20 bucks. I'll do a quickie for you. One card. And uh, yeah, that's all she wrote. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you very much. Bye, Virgo.